Rob? Hello everyone and welcome to Rob's Rogues. It's been a while since I've done a video about my Wayne Manor uh, diorama display set, uh, what have you, that I've been working on for almost a year. And as you can tell so far, I haven't done a whole lot with it. Uh, just kind of got in the mode of collecting action figures that... Uh, I just kind of put it on the back burner. So I had received a couple emails and different things of people asking if I was still doing this. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, I'm kind of getting uh, back into it and uh, going back to my local Hobby Lobby. As Chapman Films would say, that's the diorama headquarters. Uh, anything you could possibly want uh, from paints and different things like that. I was uh, also working on this as my as the John Blake Dark Knight Rises I figure. He's going to be my Tim Drake. So I wanted to paint his shirt red and I'm also doing a Red Robin New 52 type of uh, figure as well and of course here is my Damien from the Batman and Son 2 pack and uh, you know, just a few other things, some clocks. And I do have a couple other pieces uh, that I would like to show you that I'm slowly starting to get things built and I've been sketching out how big my floor plan is going to be and all that type of stuff. So bear with me for one second. Now I want to show you this. This is, uh, I think I've probably shown you this piece before, but I'm going to set it up here. I'll uh, talk about Mayberry Street. Uh, it's one of the few, at least around me in the Hobby Lobby, a few Hobby Lobbies that I have around me that sell like miniatures, like it's basically for like doll houses and things like that. But it works really good for six inch figures. Things are in size and scale to your six inch figures, be it Marvel or DC or whatever you have. But uh, this is a uh, $12.99 and it's basically hardwood floor. I guess you could use it as wood paneling. And I usually wait till I see things go on sale or I use my smartphone and I download the Hobby Lobby app and you can get things at 40% off. Uh, this I got at 40% off, plus I have something else that was at 45% off. So I'll, I will show this to you in the context of uh, the figure so you can see how big this flooring piece is. Alright, here we are with the uh, hardwood flooring in place just on my little table here. And as you can tell, hopefully you can tell that it does it does make a difference having you know flooring or something. Now I think I've seen Chapman Films uh, use like I, assuming he's using a desk or a table that it kind of looks like a wood grain, so he didn't have to purchase this. But I'm wanting to fasten this. It's about as thick as a piece of cardboard or uh, like a box, a cardboard box, that type of. Uh, thickness so I want to fasten it or fasten it glue it to a uh, a nice thick board so I've got like something sturdy for it to uh, sit on and be mounted to because I also want to put up walls and uh, thought about hanging a uh, doing a ceiling too and having a chandelier but I may not go uh, to that length but I at least want to have three walls um, I've thought about having it come out at an angle, kind of off to the side where Alfred is, where the wall, instead of being, you know, straight this way, that it would kind of angle, let's see my hand, <laughs> this way, kind of angle itself out a little bit more. Um, just seeing it here, well, we'll get an overhead shot in just a second, but it almost feels like I could make this a little bit bigger because there's a couple other pieces I want to put on here. Uh, that uh, is really going to eat up a lot of space and it'll look, I'm afraid it'll look really cramped. So I'm going to adjust the camera real quick because I'm doing this. Adjust the camera, get a little bit higher uh, so you can see a little bit more. And I've got one more piece to show you. And here's a, uh, another piece. Uh, again, these are all from Mayberry Street. That's uh, who makes uh, all these miniatures. Um, I'm sure there's other miniature companies out there, but uh, this is the one that's readily available to me. As you can see, it's a $14.99. So you're talking about some stuff. These are pretty well detailed, that they're about as much, and some are more expensive than some action figures, like from Mattel or uh, DC Collectibles. But uh, it's a... Piano. I love a piano. So I thought this would be really cool. I can't remember if Chapman Films has this piano. I'm sure that he does. I thought this would be a nice uh, feature to add in Wayne Maynard. I would assume Bruce would have one. Now if you 
have watched the Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises, or actually Batman Begins, you didn't see the piano in the Dark Knight, but in Dark Knight Rises, they used the piano to key in uh, the Ode to Joy, I think is what it was, that opens up the access point to the Batcave. And I always thought the piano would be a nice feature in Wayne Manor. So it's just in a, you know, kind of like a blister pack. There's nothing really special here. It says, uh, Grand Piano. Let me get a little extra light from my camera here. Bear with me a second. There we go. This is a Grand Piano with Bench. This is Hobby Lobby and it has all of their, you know, information here. Hazard. Uh, small parts, not for children under three years. So these are really well detailed. So we'll get another look at this. It's really weird <laughs> that for some people probably subscribing to the channel, it's like Rob's reviewing a little mini piano. So uh, we'll be right back and you can kind of see it in context with the rest of Wayne Manor. All right, here is the piano. It's out of box and everything like that. It does open up, which I thought was a nice touch. Now there are no strings in here, which would have been kind of cool if there were, but it probably would have been a little bit more expensive. Uh, if I felt uh, like I wanted to, I could put some in here. But it does come with like a little music stand that's kind of mounted into the piano. It does have actual notes. And it does have an arm that's going to be able to keep the piano open. So I'm going to set this down. I've got uh, the Wayne Manor kind of pushed off to the side, and I'll show you in context with uh, the figures and what I have so far. So here's the piano with the uh, rest of Wayne Manor. As you could tell, it is really kind of full right now, and I would like a love seat and couch. So I'm going to have to increase the size of this. I really initially didn't want to, but I really can't have a whole lot else on here um, just because everything is so cramped in right at the moment. It's going to work good for what I'm having right now. I'll readjust the camera. We'll get a kind of a straight on look here. But you can kind of see the depth of it so far. All right, here's the look at everything together. And uh, this could be my Tim Drake or Dick Grayson or whomever you have. Maybe Tim knows how to play the piano and he's kind of give a little performance here and Damien seems really unenthused but uh so this is kind of my work in progress and I've already kind of decided I'm gonna to have to buy a couple extra pieces of the flooring uh, to get it to come out a little bit more um, just to put some of the other things that I want there so this is gonna be a little bit uh, larger than I originally had intended but I'm I think I'm gonna be okay with that maybe even three more pieces maybe one Maybe I'll get another piece and I'll cut it in the middle, do one to the left and the right, and then another one in the center here. So uh, this is kind of uh, the work in progress. This is where I'm at at the moment. Uh, I just have a few pieces that I was able to get on sale. Like I said, you could check at Hobby Lobby if you're interested in trying to attempt some of this. Uh, maybe before too long, I'll actually have some walls and some other things. But like I said, this won't be something I'll just be whipping together and over a course of a couple weeks. And we're coming approaching a year around in December when I first initially started doing this. So this is all the farther that I have gotten. But like I said, uh, hopefully I'll have something really nice to show. And you can kind of watch the progress kind of grow, go a little bit slowly. So um, this really wasn't a big action figure review. But some people have been asking about my Wayne Manor diorama. And here's where I'm at at the moment. So, as always, this is Rob for Rob's Rogues and the Batman Universe signing off saying we will see you guys next time.